I guarantee over the last couple of years you've heard the name drop shot. Well today I'm going to show you the drop shot method and the thing about this method it's guaranteed that anyone that can turn a reel round, cast a rod, will catch some fish, whether it be on a river, a canal or a still water. So what I'm going to show you today is the actual method. Small rod, small reel, lures, worms, that's all you need. Let's go and catch some fish. I find it quite funny actually that people think that the drop shot method, or lots of people think that it's a very, very new method only come out the last couple of years. And it hasn't, it's been fished in Europe and all over America for many, many, many years. And I remember when I first started using it about four years ago, uh, fishing on the lures and then I started using worms instead of the lure as well, like I am now. And I thought, God, I've invented a new a new method and then when I looked on the internet <laughs> the Americans and the Europeans, the Dutch, the Germans etc they'd been using sort of live baits you know like worms for, for many many years so as they say there's nothing new in fishing it's just very new for a lot of anglers but the nice thing about it it's one of those methods that's come it's not really technical it's not hard to do and the nice thing about it is that you are fishing amongst fish all the time and that's what this drop shot does you know all the time you're fishing you you're down there in the killing zone i always say it's a bit like a pub you know people are in a pub and um i had just a little touch then people are in the pub they're just having a pint they're not they're not after anything to eat are they but then all of a sudden somebody has a beef burger the smell the smell of onions comes and bang everybody wants a beef burger the same as this you know they're not really feeding but if that worm or lure comes in amongst them, comes through the dining room, they're going to eat it. Yep, and that's a nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. Now it's a monster, but certainly, look at this, this little rod. It sort of bends over, and have such fun. A couple of casts. This could have been in a canal or a, or a, a still water somewhere. Look at this, beautiful. That's a, a nice fish to start the day. Look at that, absolute belter. And there is the first fish of the day. Not a monster, but a beautiful, beautiful perch. Look at the condition of it, hey? That's a start to the day, isn't it? You can hear woodpeckers, green finches, all sorts of birds singing away on the dawn chorus. And then you catch a beautiful fish like this. Look at that. There's no fish that looks better than the perch. I'm going to put this one in the keep net, along with hopefully a few more. And the reason I put them in the keep net is because at the end of the day, you keep putting these out into the water, they might just go out there and tell the mates not to bite my, my worms or lures, eh? And I don't want them to tell them that, do I? In you go. Lovely.
Yep, there we go. We're in. Yep. Look at his fight on this small rod. Look, look at that. Look at that. That's fun. Look at the rod. <laughs> Fantastic. Even quite medium fish like this is still great sport. Look at that. <laughs> Beauty. Cracker. I wouldn't think it's quite two pounds. It'll do for me. 